calibrate the pH meter, we first need to have two solutions of either pH 4 or 10 and pH of 7. If you look at the top of the pH meter, you'll see two screws, one that's labeled pH 7 and one that's labeled pH 410. We'll start by turning the pH meter on and then removing the cap from the bottom of the electrode. Once the electrode is exposed, we can now place it into the pH 7 buffer. Using a screwdriver, we can adjust the pH 7 screw so that the meter is now calibrated to 7. If the pH is lower than 7, we'll turn the screw clockwise. If it's above 7, we'll turn the screw counterclockwise. Once we achieve a pH of 7, we're going to rinse the electrode, and after rinsing, we can then place the pH meter into the pH 4 buffer. Similar to adjusting it to a pH of 7, we'll see what the current pH reading is and adjust appropriately. Because it's above 4, again, we're going to adjust the screw counterclockwise until the pH reads 4.00. Once we've obtained it at 4.00, our pH meter is now calibrated and we're ready to use it to measure the pH of an unknown solution. Just to ensure there's no residual buffer on it though, we will rinse one more time before we use it. After we've calibrated our pH meter, we can place it into a solution of an unknown pH and the meter will display the pH of that solution.